So today is the day I embark on this amazing adventure of Ohio and Michigan's adventure. And maybe Worlds of Fun, if we get there. So, let's go. today but if you're passing by and then you see roller coasters and worlds of fun I'm sure you can't resist so I guess I'm here now I don't got much time it closes at 8 and it's like 5 o'clock so it's a little bit of time but not much go Mamba have fun people on Mamba yippee airtime hill down and then this weird, weird thing before the helix. I don't understand it, but yeah, I love mom. I'm so excited. Yay. Oh my gosh, the NBC Singer has like no line. That's insane, but we gotta go to Prowler first. First coaster of the day is Prowler. Man, how do I love Prowler so much? It, I mean, Gold Striker is 100% better, but Prowler, man, I love it so much. Zambezi Singer. So let's go. Okay, so I just got off of Zambezi Zinger and I thought for some reason it was more intense than Prowler. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it was. So yeah, now it's time for Mamba. Now it's time for Mamba and Mamba. Oh man, Mamba is so amazing. The amount of airtime on this coaster is unbeat by any other coaster. I don't think there's one other coaster that has more airtime than this. Maybe Steel Vengeance, but you know, I never rode it. I'm going to in like a week, so yeah. So I rode Fury of the Nile for the first time, which is an Intamin Rapids ride. And this one spinned more than usual. I don't know why. It just spinned a little bit more. I don't know why. Also, the Q line has a great view of Zambi's using it and Boomerang. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Fury of Denial spins so, so, so much. I, it's crazy, I don't know why, but it spins a lot. But you don't get that wet, so it's fine. And Paycheck got stuck, 
so yeah. And that's gonna end it for this day here at Worlds of Fun. It was pretty short. I think I got a uh, maximum like seven rides, which actually is pretty good. Because last time I was Elich, I only got seven rides, so actually pretty good. So now let's go to our hotel. It's not these hotels, but um, let's go to our hotel, sleep, and go to Indianapolis. So let's go. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it Okay, so I just woke up in Indianapolis. The, what a boring city, not much happening. So we're gonna go to Kings Island now. So let's go. You but baby, you're still mine. And now we have the best times, no matter what we do. And even when we don't, there's nobody I'd rather choose. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the This is like the park that everybody talks about. It has a freaking Giga coaster, which I'm super excited for. They just got a new uh, Vekoma boomerang, which I think is over there. I don't know for sure. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be an insane day at Kings Island. Time for Orion. Man, that thing looks crazy. So let's go. You know, definitely not unbearable, and I, it's just awesome. Man, I love the entrance sign though, it looks awesome. But you know what looks more awesome? Banshee, the world's longest invert. So, let's go. Banshee, man, I rode it in the front, which I'm very happy about. Um, Actually, the trains, I don't mind them. I like actually the trains. I actually probably prefer them over the regular over shoulder trains, which is, I know, weird. But man, Banshee is a great ride. It's time for Mystic Timbers. I love the entrance sign. Somebody made it out of Lego, and it's really cool, and I really want to build it. Anyway, Mystic Timbers time.
I just got off of Mystic Timbers. It's definitely overrated, but it's not a bad ride. But I cannot decide if it's better than Gold Striker. Hmm. Oh, it's time for the beast. I just got off of the beast. And wow, I like it. it I mean, it's, it's fun and all. I like the wood setting. It's a great ride. It, I love it so much, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. got off of Diamondback another time because man I love this coaster it's my favorite in the park so yeah I guess it's time to ride the new for 2024 because like I almost said 2023 Snoopy Soapbox Racer I just got off of Snoopy's Soapbox Racers and uh, it's pretty good. It's smooth. I like this how smooth it sounds. It's uh, probably like top five best family coaster. It's really, it's really good. Now I hope this was just a test for Cedar Fair and now they're gonna build bigger and better but new age Wakama rides because they are great. So, I guess that's gonna do it for our day here at Kings Island. Man, that was a fun park. I enjoyed it so much. I love Kings Island so much. No wonder all the enthusiasts love this park. I can compare it mostly to like Six Flags Great America to me, so yeah. Guess what time it is now? Time to go to Cedar Point. So, let's go. This is gonna be awesome. go in and ride one of the couple of the best roller coasters ever. Okay, I guess I'm going on Maverick. <laughs> so, I just got off of Maverick and man, it's so fun. Also, I do like how they name the trains. It's really cool. And yeah, Maverick 
is really awesome. I haven't seen Steel Vengeance cycle, but we'll go over there to look if it is cycling. But yeah, Maverick, awesome ride. That music is perfect for this occasion. Well, now it's time. Hopefully the next clip will say, I just got off of, but we'll see. I really hope I get on it. It looks awesome. Whoa, that's just a forest of wood. That's so cool. Who just got a new favorite coaster? Me! Steel Vengeance is awesome. I cannot believe how awesome that is, but I mean, it's such a close fi a fine line. If this, or Steel Vengeance is bad, I mean, Steel Vengeance, Time Traveler is better. Because Steel Vengeance is great and all, but the shin parts kind of hurt more than regular RMCs for some reason. And do you compare the world's best RMC with the world's best spinning coaster? Which one is better? That's so hard. It's crazy. So, um, I don't know. I think I just have to ride it again. Especially since there's absolutely no line for some reason. I mean, just look at this. No line. It's just the, this, over, back, all the way to the station. I mean, that's, that. I mean, usually all this is full and like back there, I think. I don't know. I mean, uh, just this morning this was all full, but now it's nothing. So I just got off of Steel Vengeons again, and I really don't know. I feel like Time Traveler is the better ride here, but it's so dang close, it's so hard to choose. We like this is it has the link which I like better than Time Traveler, but Time Traveler it just has like a certain funness to it. I don't know what it is, so it's so dang hard to decide which one's better. I don't know. Now it's time for Millennium Force, so let's go. So, I just got off of Millennium Force. Totally worth it for the Millennium. Good ride, I liked it. Second ever Giga Coaster, I think this is better than Orion. I think that's very hard to choose though. Uh, Intamin Giga. Yeah, it's very hard to choose. Well, the first ever Hyper Coaster is open. So, I guess let's go there. I never rode an Aero Hyper, I just rode the B&M and Intamin ones. So I'm excited. Well, not Intamin, Morgan. I wish I rode an Intamin one, those look awesome. But, well, I got this nice Arrow one. So let's go. Magnum XL 200. It's painful. It was like really, really painful for some reason. I do not know what happened there. Morgan is so much better at making hyper coasters than Arrow. I mean, I get why some people would like these air time hills, but for me, no. So I just gotta wait to ride Power Avia. The line is not lighting up at all, but we'll just, I'm just gonna wait in the line. just got off of Val Raven and man it was totally not the worth the wait it was my first dive coaster so uh, I would wait anything for it 
but it was definitely not worth the wait. It was way, way, way too short. Maybe Yukon Striker might be worth it, but this wasn't. Anyway, so, uh, it's a little bit rough. I was sitting in a wing seat, which uh, probably isn't the best decision ever, but I guess I had to. So, yeah, Pallet Raven, B&M Dive Coaster is pretty fun, but I feel like the smaller versions would be funner. review for gatekeeper real quick it's a fun ride but i prefer x flight way over this because it, for some reason it's not as intense as a gate uh x flight so um definitely prefer x flight but it's a good ride i like it the colors are much better than x flight anyway so cedar point there's something off about it and i don't know what it is but i love the park so much and I'm so happy I get to be here like for like three, four days. I guess that's gonna be it for today. And now it's time to go to a way better park, Michigan's Adventure. So let's go. Michigan and everything looks tiny and it's super weird because we drove through like uh, I don't even know what you drove through it's crazy here I do not know why there's even a park here but the uh, corkscrew looks like it has cool colors so let's go in and see if this is a, a bad or good park okay so we just made it in and it's not the grandest of entrances just like kind of this weird blue building and like Ooh, coaster diner and roller coasters. So weird. Actually, so far, I'm liking this better than Cedar Point. Well, kind of. I like looking, uh, it, it looks nicer to me. So, first ride, corkscrew. Okay, so I just got off corkscrew. And I'm getting a little bit of a culture shock, if that is a word, because like 
for coming from like Cedar Point to this, which is basically like opposite parks, it is so, so weird. But anyway, corkscrew, just a little bit rough, not, not the smoothest, but you know, it's an arrow, what to expect. The corkscrew is worse mover than corkscrew at Cedar Point. So yeah, good ride, a bit short, but yeah, I like it. Now I'm going to Shevering Timbers and so far, this is actually a pretty nice park. I'm very surprised. So Cedar Fair gives a little bit of investment. This looks pretty new, actually really new. Uh, so, you know, they, they don't just get new trash cans. So I just got off of Shivering Timbers in the front row. And man, it's such a weird coaster. It's unexplainable. It's like smooth but rough at the same time. The airtime is so weird. I think that was just because I was in the front. It's definitely a back row ride. So yeah, uh, definitely worth it to come to this park just about that. That's an elite coaster. Maybe not elite, but really, really good. And now we're going on apparently a bad coaster, Wolverine Wildcat. I went on Wolverine Wildcat. And man, people say it was bad, so I was expecting the worst. The Titan track improved it so much and everywhere else was basically retracked. It, was, it had a good layout and it was very smooth. I'm very surprised. I might like it even better than Shevering Timbers, which is crazy. Hey, I mean, they didn't just get a new trash can. They got a, like some really weird viewing deck thing. Really weird. But it has a good view of Thunderhawk and Corkscrew and Wolverine Wildcat and Shivering Timbers and the Sea Dragon. Huh, cool. It's time for Hydro Blaster because um, they're rare, I think, a little bit rare. So better get the credit, right? It's kind of hot, so let's go. I just got off of Hydro Blaster. Very fun, I rode both of them. The green one you get really wet and you feel like you're gonna flip over. The black one is dark and not that wet, but weird. So yeah, very, very fun rides. But now it's time for Timber Hawk. Wait, no. What is it, Wild Hawk? Timberhawk? No, not Timberhawk. I'll find out. That's Thunderhawk. So I just got off Thunderhawk. People say it's the best SLC. I kind of agree and disagree it's very smooth much smoother than the elich one but the restraints are different and i don't like them as much as the elich one but it's a still a good ride but i prefer the elich one just a little bit more it has a different kind of roughness it's very weird i have to ride it more so for some reason it looks smaller than the elich one i don't know why probably because the slingshot is in front of it at in at elich so it's interesting i have to ride it more and compare it more for zach's zoomer and also what's with the like really really short queue lines like okay this is an average garbage can right and this is the queue line it's like tiny i just got off of zach's zoomer the trains are tiny but other than that pretty good ride i mean, I mean it's a kiddie coaster what do you expect wolverine wildcat had a bit of a line so i rode shivering timbers two more times man i love that thing so much but i'm not so sure it's kind of rough but i mean it's, it's so hard to decide it's i have to ride it much more to decide then uh i rode two flat rides the scrambler which is really very painfully slow for some reason and this ride which is also kind of painfully slow so michigan's adventure doesn't have the best flat rides wow the sun's bright anyway um the park's closed, I'm coming tomorrow, and I'll make a vlog then too. But uh, for the people that are watching just the Ohio vlog, I think this is gonna be it. Anyway, so this Ohio vlog, I'm, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Same like the California one, but the California one's kind of turned out pretty good. So I did another one. And anyway, Ohio was very fun. I liked it. It was uh, interesting. Oh, this is Michigan, I know, but you know, technically Ohio. So yeah, um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and coaster it. Bye.